I maintain like if I wanted to compare far left versus far right, I can do it from right here. I don't need them standing next to each other, right? The whole song and dance with moving people around on stage is just so dumb. This past weekend, we saw 13 wellness athletes hit the stage in McAllen, Texas for the IFBB RGV Pro Show with an Olympia qualification up for grabs, potentially. More on that later. In a moment, we'll roll into my commentary on prejudging and then a recap of the results and some final thoughts. Um, these shows do start with a quick round of comparisons just to get everyone out in front of the judges in groups and then individual presentations followed by group callouts where the judges are actively sorting people out into their placings. If you are interested in taking your physique to the next level, uh, like those you're about to see, you can check out my Bikini Blueprint course at the link in the description below and read about my approach to helping women build the best physiques they possibly can. Okay, commercial over, on to the commentary. Let's hit it. Okay, so the stream started a little early and abruptly, so we missed uh, the very start here, but this is the first comparison group here. So I've got Rosita Munoz, Jada Beverly, Eduarda Bitzera, Sarah Bianca, Nerilda Stray, Gracia Hernandez, and I think that was Gracia Hernandez. I think we had six up there, right? Didn't really get a good look at him, so we're going to look at him closer in comparisons here coming up. Just six, so we might have had seven in that first group there. So, going from the right here, it's Samara Walter, Jacqueline Rios next to her, Victoria Reyes, Vanina Picor, Mia Onwuna, and then Amanda Mendez. That, that looks right to me. Okay, cool. Um, man, there's just... Wellness always just kind of freaks me out. Like, the, the physiques in wellness are just so freaking bonkers. Just absolutely insane. I know if you deserve to win, and then you took people's spot. Uh, prepared to beat, right? Exactly. Yeah, that's not how it works. I, don't, I missed the first part of what she was saying there, but I don't know if she was advocating for that. But no. Muscle. <laughs> it is a pear-shaped category. I told my wife today, I was like, I, I don't know about pear-shaped. I, I don't agree with that. Aren't you gonna have a good thing? And then what happens when you see her got it down? Um, not as big as you no, thought you were. Yeah, because there's a difference between being big and having muscle. Like, that, that's the thing that's very, very difficult about wellness that nobody really understands. Everybody thinks like, I want to do wellness. I'm like, you have, a, a, a lot of people really underestimate the amount of work and the amount of discipline that it takes to build up a dominant lower body. It is fucking hard. It's incredibly difficult. She did the fourth, she got fourth at the Arnold Classic. So this is Rosita Munoz from Spain. The Rising Phoenix got first in Masters. She performed, she moved beautifully. There's, similar to, to yes, Bikini, there's a lot about the presentation and wellness that's kind of off-putting to me. A lot of the walks I don't really care for. This is all personal preference. Um, I've talked about this before also. They do this in figure a lot, the hands under the chin thing. I want to see way less of that. When they come from... Is it genetics? Is it where you come from? Let's address the elephant in the room. Like, there are no natural athletes on this stage, okay? Let's just be very clear about that. No one on this stage is passing a drug test. Right. That has a lot to do with it. Your genetic response to gear is a huge factor in your ability to be successful in wellness. Not discounting the hard work that's required for that, but it is a factor. I just have to say, first person on stage, I'm like, what do we like about this physique? Most things. Um, what we're going to see really is like, you know, what kind of lower body development and shape and conditioning do we want to see when everybody's in a group? Um, and this is the kind of thing, like, remember, wellness is only a few years old. Like, at every show, you're still going to have judging standards that are really kind of unpredictable and a little variable depending on who shows up. So she mentioned it was her wellness pro debut. This is Jada Beverly from Ohio, one of three Americans in wellness in a show in the U.S. So she definitely has a very dominant lower half. Yeah, she does. A dominant lower half, but also chest, shoulders, and arms. I think that means she's probably too muscular for wellness and she should probably be in figure, realistically. The Milwaukee Pro. I, mean, I think if she hit a figure back pose right here, we would probably see that. 
Like, I don't think she's got quite the conditioning that they're going to want to see for wellness just based on the initial, uh, the initial group call out, the initial group comparisons that they did. Um, generally, everybody's going to be a little bit on the tighter side here, and that's probably going to be what's rewarded, which means she's probably going to be just a little bit too soft for today. Midsection, you'd want to see a little bit tighter. Um, you'd want to see a little bit more ab definition, especially like the obliques. If you like and her upper body just looks a little thick, like in figure or even in physique, that would be an asset. In wellness, um, her lower body is just not dominant enough and not quite cut enough. And here, here is what you want to look at. Is next up, this is Eduardo Bezzera from Brazil, and she won the Columbia show last month, and she won the Arizona Pro show last week. So she's done two shows, I think, this year, and won both of them. So this is kind of the standard that you're looking for. Yeah, look at how tiny the waist is, and look at how everything else below it is really super dominant, and everything above it is just kind of there. Like, you can tell she works out, but you can tell, like, you know, she kind of gives a middle finger to a lot of the upper body stuff. Next three are from Brazil. Yeah, I mean, from the initial comparisons, I don't want to go all googly eyes or anything like that. Like, we saw some bigger glutes in the initial comparisons. Just her overall shape is really good. Overall presentation as well, like... You can see also, like... She's got a longer torso, her waist is tight, her entire midsection is tight. It's kind of defined, but not super. Not super defined, it's just kind of like defined a little bit. It's not super ripped. If you look back to Rosita, who is first, she was a little bit more ripped, and I don't think that's necessarily going to play in her favor today. Sarah Bianca, this is another Brazilian here. So when you think big picture comparing her to Eduarda, who was just up here, checks a lot of the same boxes. Lower body dominant, a little bit of a longer uh, torso. Midsection is actually, a, uh, like her abs are just a little bit more defined. You can see like her obliques and serratus there are just a little bit sharper. Just seems a little disconnected to her torso. Right. Twists more than presents. Right. Yes. Yeah, I see what they're saying there. Like the posing is not quite as natural and flowy. It's still really good. It's just like it, it's missing a, a few percentage points of something. Glutes don't stand out quite as much. Like you know, her quad sweep from behind is really there. You can see like the um, glute ham separation uh, is very blurry. You don't want it to be like laser sharp, but you want it to be clearly defined. Right. The guys bend over too much in the back poses. Oh yeah. It shows a little crease in the lower Starts back. Crease in their back. Yes. Their glutes no longer have shape to them. Your glutes no longer have shape, but also like if any any extra skin that you have starts to bunch up against your trunks and makes it look like you have fake love handles, it's not a good look. <laughs> She's got a glute on yeah. her. Wow. I think she's got two glutes on yes, her. Yes, it does. Again, long torsos. The combination of the hair color, the suit color, and the way the tan sits on her is really kind of nice overall. Her her legs are there, but they're not like there. If you know what I mean, like it's very very present, but it's it's not quite as dominant as you might want to see. Um, like glute fullness is is there. Let's see how she lands in this pose, though. I would have liked to see her just a little soft. Her under booty a little bit tighter. Under glutey. I tell you, I appreciate it. It's hard to go live with a microphone in front of you. Again, one thing to watch here is just like how ripped is somebody's midsection? Like hers, if you look at the separation between the rectus abdominis and the obliques. Definitely a little sharper than what we've seen in some others. Personally, I like that. I don't know that the judges are necessarily going to want to see that. Right, right. This is Grecia Hernandez. Okay. Our first mini competitor. She's a, she's a shorty. 
but still like you know not, not really a super super short torso a little bit more she just looks a lot more compact a lot more dense um yeah, like from behind, they're good. Like glutes, hams, quad sweep from behind looks great. That's awesome. Um, might almost just be, and this, I hate this because it's just genetics, right? Might just be a little too compact. Like if she was like two or three inches taller and she had the same frame, just stretch her out a little bit, put her in the rack and stretch her out a little bit. Um, I think she's crushing it. Right now, she just looks a little a little too dense almost. When they've done this is Alejandro La Fonseca from Puerto Rico. Those are some quads. Mm -hmm. got... Shoulders have a little bit more pop on her than what we've seen in some others. Hair to the front's an interesting choice. We haven't seen that yet. A little, just a few percentage points off on the glutes and hams there. In case you're going to ask me about the hair, <laughs> like we don't care if they have. Oh, it's just hair, shorter. Short hair, but <laughs> I thought it was pulled to the front. It's just you shorter. Take off for extremely hard back or traps yeah. in wellness. So although we like the different looks, be mindful or you at least tweak your training if you're going to yeah. not wear in here. Yeah, I think that's so that fucking dumb. Like I'm not, I'm not disagreeing with her. I just think that's stupid. It's like, oh, we've got longer hair. That's an advantage. What the fuck does hair have to do with your body? Like, I just like short hair. So now suddenly you have extra problems to deal with. It's stupid. I, I just, I don't think. Sorry, I'm gonna go on a soapbox here. Amanda Mendez from KC. I don't think any category should be in a position where there are certain parts of your body that we don't want to see. Like men's physique, I think is a dumb category for having knee length shorts. I think that's stupid. Let's change the, the uh, suits for men's physique, please, and just do away with that knee length shorts category entirely. And on and wellness and bikini, yeah, let's see your back. And it's your responsibility to bring it in a level of condition that we want to see instead of just like, no, we're just not going to see it at all. That's stupid. So really tall. Um, yeah. A lot more elongated, a lot of definition in the hamstrings, really tight, possibly a little a little too lean, possibly. Like you can start to see like the different heads in the hamstring there, which again, I think that's cool. I like it. Um, again, another really long torso. Takes her time. Quads are all the there and awake. It's really good. Um, I think that's great, that's to be honest with you. Some people can have incredible routines, but if they don't engage with the crowd yes, and the judges... Yeah, have to engage with the crowd. Yeah, I, that's another thing I just don't like. Like, it's a bodybuilding competition. It's not a crowd engagement competition. I get that that's part of it. I just, I think it should be 2% of it, you know? Exactly. Mia Onwuna from the UK. This is Mia from the United Kingdom. Another slightly compact frame. Now this is um, similar to oh, who I can't remember who it was. Was it Nerilde or was it Grecia? Um, the other one that was a little bit more compact but just looked a little too dense. She's like a little bit more, a little bit more, what's the word? Spread out a little bit. Like everything looks like it's really in the right space. Yeah, that's a great pose right there. Where would she be on a conditioning level if we're thinking of the gold standard? Is she in a good place? Yeah, she's in a very good place. A little more conditioning. Maybe not right at the top, but good. I don't know about that. I need to see some a little bit more detail in the back. Again, it, it's hard because, you know, I'd love to see a little bit more condition, but her midsection is already pretty shredded, right? And that's something I've noticed too. How do you toe that line? That's hard. Conditioning at that level is a little hard. This is where competing as a woman is just so fucking difficult because you've got to you've got to meet these impossible standards which realistically there's only so much you can do in order to hit these standards it's just like well what are my genetics this is Venina Alejandra Picor from Argentina tall 
this is... Everything's longer. Legs are really sharp. She seems like another tall girl. She looks like she's tall. I didn't get a chance to interview her. Yeah, quads are really sharp. Yeah. That's good. Um, little, little, sitting a little too yes, hard on that yes, one. Yes, exactly. Mm. I would have liked her feet a little bit closer when she stepped it back. Keep the feet lifted. That's the thing is with wellness posing, there's just so many little details. It's like that personally, I would say don't really matter. Like some of the absolute micro details of how, about how you pose that don't really impact much about how your physique looks. Self-conscious about where she's putting her legs. Um, I would say that, that's kind of an insightful comment. I think, uh, yeah, a little too self like a little too reserved in her movements a little bit. Like everything's just a little smaller. Just make everything a little bit bigger, maybe. Victoria Reyes from Mexico. Already very nice. Yes. Yeah, that that's Tan one of the first. Nice boots on yesterday. Tan looks real good. Tan looks for, one of the first physiques I've seen is like a holy crap kind of physique. Um, now, is she maybe a little too hard? I don't know. Maybe. Um, that that's amazing. That's fantastic. I've noticed that on the on the side pose. Yeah, you're just absolutely picking apart just the absolute most microscopic details. Almost a little striated. Yeah, sure. that takes away from the fullness then. And that's just also the Yeah, but if they weren't that lean and they were fuller, you'd say she needs to be leaner. Like it's such a fucking microscopic target that you're trying to hit here. It's like Jesus H. And uh, Oops. Another long torso. Abs are there. A very dominant look. Very. Yes. Dominant look? I don't know what that means. Very strong. Glutes are super yes, full. Yes, does. So she just needs to continue improving the flow of things. Gaining more control. Of Not sure what that features. means either. Mm. That back pose, it seems like she has a quad sweep all the way from the hip down. Yeah. Yeah. Her, her quad sweep is very high. Yes. Yeah, she just has crazy quads in general. That could be how much she's arching too. Mm. The cut of her suit makes her torso look even taller than it is. It's tall enough, it's almost a problem. Like, I don't know. Something about that, like, proportions just look a little weird. I mean, again, micro overanalyzing everything here. What if they did all the divisions without heels? Last year, this is Samara Walter. She was fifth in Tampa, second in Tupelo, second in Arizona last week. So, probably going to be in the running here. Why are you walking like that? Oh, you have the heels. What do we think about this? Um, I'm seeing that the, the, the um, it's been the a dream, little bit too much time the, with the back to the stage the without being in that pose, yeah. and everything looks softer yeah. until you land in that pose. I would spend less time doing this kind of stuff. Yeah, what country is that glute from? <laughs> yes, dude, you could do the same thing with conditioning for the classic guys and the bodybuilders, like the Hispanic guys get. I'm just a, just a little bit off. Just, just a little off. I don't know. I would not probably have her. I mean, she's had a couple of second place finishes in a row in the last two weeks. Um, I don't think I'd have her in the top three necessarily. We're gonna see how much I know, and the answer might be not fucking much. That's crazy. much. Good job tomorrow. Okay. Now we have the call out. So from left to right here, we have. It's just what's going on. So she just naturally leans. Amanda, Jacqueline, Sarah, Eduarda, 
Gracia and who was that? Rosita uh, over on the far left. Eduardo, and I'm thinking Gracia, yeah. the to the right. I don't know about that. Luke second to the left. I don't know about that. I think she's still just, I mean, I don't want... What's the word for, you know, if you're if you're discriminatory against old people, it's ageist. If you're discriminatory against short people, it's what? Shortest? I don't know. I don't want to come across as shortest. Um, I frankly, I mean, unpopular opinion, I think Amanda on the far left. Okay. Thank you. Oh, there's six of them. And the Samara McGinney moved to the outside. I said I wouldn't have her in the top three or top four. Um, so this has her in like fifth or sixth in this position here. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah, honestly, like, I, I like Jacqueline's physique. I just don't like her as much in this lineup. Like, I think I no. I like Amanda Warner, as second or third. Next to him, they have those three D glutes. Yeah. 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 Looks good too. So, greasy to the right, the the shorty. Like <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, she is so <laughs> compact. Like, it's a crazy physique on somebody that size. And it looks awesome. And I'm just thinking, like, you know, is is that what we should be seeing? I don't know. I don't mind it. Okay, that's top two. Okay. Thirty-one, mm. just added Nerilde. Seems weird to just pull away the top keep two. Gracia at the center. Like keep Gracia in that spot right there. Sometimes it's hard to know exactly what the fuck they're doing. I mean, look at the two splitting the center there. I think that's Nerilde and Gracia. Um, look at how drastically different their legs are. It's like, you cannot put those two in consecutive spots. Their physiques are so totally different. Like, you're going to like one of those or the other. One of those is the target, the other one is not. So if you put one of them third and the other fourth, that's yeah. preposterous. Yeah. It's just kind of weird that they would add two people into this call out. Whatever. I the long loop is harder to get Rosita, to um, second from the right, was really strong in that last pose also. I realized I got some names wrong earlier. Forgive me. For wellness, the quarter turns. I, do. I don't. I do. I don't particularly like it at all. She's like, get out of there. <laughs> Get your butt out the way. Yeah, boy, if somebody grabbed my arm like that on stage, no. Like, give me a second. Let me figure it out. Hold on. Don't fucking touch me. You know? Yeah. Sometimes it's hard. It's like just being up on stage is disoriented. They're calling out numbers. They're not calling you out by name. So it's like, what's my number? I don't know. What am I? Oh, yeah. Like, it just take, you just give people a minute. Okay, so that's Norelda that they keep bringing in closer to center here. I just turned away for five seconds. <laughs> Get out of there. Yeah, they're fighting for that four, third, fourth, and yeah. fifth place spot right now. What is her name so I can quit saying girl in the pink um, suit? That, that girl in the pink. <laughs> um. Which one? There's three. The way did she get her number? Thirty-one is Mia. Thirty-five is Mia. So that is Mia. Mia. I can do this job. Yeah. What the fuck are you doing? Like at this point, the judges are just fucking with everybody. Like at this point, you know what they look like. <laughs> Right there, they're battling shape and flow. With it's ridiculous. I maintain, like, if I wanted to compare far left versus far right, I can do it from right here. I don't need them standing next to each other, right? Like, visually, you can just block out the four in the middle and just, like, scan. Like, 
the whole song and dance with moving people around on stage is just so dumb. I really hate it. Like, I can understand a little bit of it, but when they have them move and then move back and then move back again, it's like, what are you doing? Stop it. So that's your second call out. So now we're going to see the remainders here. Victoria, Vanina, Alejandra in the center there. The live stream just took a shit on me. I think that's Rosita and that'll, that'll be Jada. All right, we're gonna try and reset this thing. And all right. I think the live stream has officially crapped out on me. So yeah, the live stream kind of crapped out on me there at the end, but I think we saw what we needed to see there. No real surprises here as Eduarda Bezerra took the win once again, making this her third win this season. This is where I expose myself as being a pretty lousy judge, I think. Clearly, she has an amazing physique, not denying that. But in wellness, I'm kind of looking for something that really stands out, and Eduarda is a solid eight and a half to nine in every category, but there is room for someone to come in and knock her out for sure. It's just gonna take some work. I know a lot of people also, they say things like, oh, look at how beautiful she is, etc." And first up, in my position as a guy, I just don't really think it's super appropriate for me to comment on that. And second, I also don't wanna forget that this is a bodybuilding competition and the physique should be the first, second, and third most important thing we're judging here. Again, a well-deserved win. Would I have had anyone on this stage beating her today? No, I wouldn't. Second was Jacqueline Rios, and third was Amanda Mendez. I'm going to put these two up together on screen because I think you could make a strong argument for swapping these two. Uh, not saying the judges got it wrong, but just that there's the argument to be made here. Again, standard disclaimer, both of these women are bringing otherworldly physiques to the stage, and at this level, it is just a game of inches. Interestingly enough, if you look at the score sheets, Amanda was actually placed fourth by one judge. So clearly, someone doesn't agree with me there. So real quick about Olympia qualifications. Since Eduarda was already qualified, no new qualification was earned here. According to the rules, it does not pass on at that point to second place. I thought Jacqueline might already be qualified, but as of right now, she is not. Now, I'm okay with that rule, but it does kind of beg the question like, why are you still competing if you're already Olympia qualified? As a coach, I would be worried about my client peaking too early and fading as we get closer and closer to the big show. So I would be prioritizing rest and recovery and just trying to maintain their conditioning and not having them fly all over the fucking world and doing more shows for no real benefit. Now, there is an argument that some made that I've seen that if you can keep winning shows, you deny qualifications to other people. But this argument is so so beyond stupid that it blows my mind like expending all that effort to maybe win a show and keep one other person out of it here's the thing if you could beat them there you could probably beat them on the olympia stage too so just save yourself the trouble upcoming shows we have the heart of texas pro with a ton of wellness competitors in it this coming weekend that'll be a big one and then it's uk after that legion at the end of the month and then whew, we are almost there